Okay, continuing with the same theme, let's say I wanted to go in and change the effect. What I'm going to do is, first of all, on this text layer, to make a little more room, I'm going to click this up arrow to collapse the effects um, sub layers. So I'll just collapse that. And I'm going to go back into my effects window here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the drop shadow effect. And I'm going to go into this effect. And let's say I go for an outer glow. Highlight that. And I'll up the opacity. And I'll up the spread, let's say, to 8. And the size to, let's say, like 32. OK. And click OK. And so now I've got an outer glow around my buffalo also. Now another thing that you could do is, and now I can just see, see I've turned off this one, right? If I wanted to I could turn it back on and have both of them or turn it off and then I'll up arrow that. Now another thing I'm going to do is let's say I want to darken the background layer, right? Well another thing that I could do is I'm going to select the background layer and then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to create a new blank layer, a new transparent layer. So this little button right here next to the trash can will this one right here will create a new layer it's an empty layer and what I'm gonna do is I've got black as my foreground color chip here notice here white black white black right black is my foreground color chip you can see it here and you can see it here I'll get my paint bucket and I'll just paint on that new layer notice I had this layer selected before I painted and that just painted solid black and notice that black is on top of the background layer Right. If you by accidentally painted it here, you could just drag the layer down, right? Or if you had it way up at the top, just drag it down, drag it down, okay? And now what I can do is, on this layer, I'm going to show you something else, is I can deal with the layer opacity. So I'll take this layer opacity for this black layer, and I'll just carry that way down, and that's going to adjust the darkness of that layer. So I'll take it down all the way to, let's say, 20%, right? And so now... I can use the eyeball on and off. You can see that I was able to darken up that layer just a little bit to make the bison pop even more. So that is dealing with layer opacity. Okay, So you can adjust the opacity and make it partially transparent each layer that you're working on. So now the solid black layer actually becomes more like a see-through gray because I've lowered that opacity. Now the other thing I want to show you about and introduce you to is these blending modes. And the blending modes are right here. And you can see each layer can have a blend mode. So what I can do is, oh, let me get that back to normal. What I can do is, is I can take the layer that the bison is on, right, this layer, and I can change the blend mode for that layer from normal to another effect creating an effect or a special almost like filter on the whole layer. So I'm going to take it to overlay and you'll see what that does to the image. So now the um, the buffalo's layer blends through to the background layer and now I get this dark almost like see-through silhouette of the buffalo but you can still see some of the details of the the lightness of the buffalo and so now it becomes this more like symbolic shape on top and so this could be a neat thing if I wanted to do something educationally and I wanted an image for a poster let's say about the bison so that's a pretty neat effect this overlay effect and what you can do is once you you can just try the different effects and see you know if any of them um, you know, if any of them work for you. Now, I like this one. This is a nice effect in this case, you know, creating almost a dark silhouette against the background. I really like that. But I also like this over overlay one also in this case. And each one of these layer effects does something different. And what they do is they help this top layer blend in with the layer beneath it. And so that's how it functions. So um, any layer that you have a blend mode on is blending in to the layer underneath it.